This is Heating 1, Residential Appliances, HET 130, Week 8, High Efficiency Furnaces. After studying this week's assignment, the learner will be able to understand energy consumption of different types of furnaces, understand what makes the efficiency different in different types of furnaces, discuss the type of components found in different types of furnaces, be able to recognize the difference in furnaces. Furnaces made today must reach at at least 78% annual fuel utilization efficiency. However, furnaces today cost of sustainability and energy consumption furnaces are reaching up to 97% efficiency. Technicians must be able to recognize these differences, types of furnaces, and know how to service each one of these systems differently. Some of the terms that need to be researched this week and discussed is draft motor assembly, condensing furnace, multiple speed motors, modulating speed motors, two-stage gas valves, modulating gas valves, and condensate drains. Throughout history, furnaces have become more efficient due to energy uh, conservation. The Department of Energy regulates the efficiencies of heating systems. Very old furnaces and heating systems may be as low as 50% efficient compared to 97% efficient of furnaces made today for gas systems. Seventy-eight to eighty percent of efficient furnaces are commonplace today, but the eighties are basically the standard for the lowest efficiency. These furnaces will be at least efficient. They are the least efficient furnaces then that it can produce and manufacture today. In the near future, furnaces will not be manufactured any longer at this rate. The other types of uh, energy producing furnaces require furnaces to be at higher levels. These furnaces will have a single uh, heat exchanger, the combustion chamber, induced draft motor, atmospheric burners, and of course metal flue pipes for these 80% efficiency type furnaces. The next highest efficiency furnace is the 90%. The difference between 80 and 90% is that the 90% will have a secondary heat exchanger. This secondary heat exchanger will extract latent heat from the flue gases and pick up additional 10% of heat energy. This furnace will also have a sealed uh, combustion chamber and PVC flue pipes instead of metal pipes. This is because the furnace extracts additional heat from the flue gases. It has to drain the condensate from the secondary heat exchanger to the floor drain. And this is because the latent heat is a change of state of a substance going from a gas state down to a liquid state. The highest efficiency forced air gas furnaces is the 95 plus efficiency. This furnace is similar to the 90% efficient furnace. However, it will have a modulating gas valve and a variable speed blower motor. With these additional components, the system will be able to regulate the amount of energy needed based on the building loads. Components of a 80% efficient furnace. It will have a heat exchanger, of course it will have burners, it will have a induced draft blower motor, and this draft motor is used because to get a little bit more efficiency out of the furnace, the heat exchanger itself is designed to be very thinner of uh, or thinner metals than the older style heat exchanger plus it has uh, thinner passages 
or smaller passages for the flue gases to go through. And because of these tight passes, um, the uh, draft motor will help force the flue gases through it. We'll have a single stage gas valve and we'll just have a multiple speed motor. Components of a 90% efficient furnace will have a primary heat exchanger which is similar to the 80% efficient furnace. We'll have a secondary heat exchanger which is usually made out of stainless steel because of the corrosive material when it's changing state. Uh, the stainless steel will be able to withstand uh, the uh, fluid gases and the condensate. We have a gas valve. We have a sealed combustion chamber. We have a condensate drain line. And we have a multiple speed motor also. But it will use uh, PVC flue pipes. Instead of using metal pipes to vent the flue gases into the chimney, it will use flue ga uh, PVC pipes instead of the flue gases uh, for metal pipes and it will go through the side wall instead of into a chimney. So the components of a 95% and higher percentages of furnaces will have a primary heat exchanger, a secondary heat exchanger, it will have a modulating gas valve compared to a single stage gas valve. This modulating gas valve will regulate the flow of gas based on the load in the building. In other words, it will try to match the amount of heat that is required based on the room temperature. We have a sealed combustion chamber and it's a sealed combustion chamber because it will actually bring in uh, combustion air from outdoors instead of from inside of the house. This help reduces infiltration from outdoors into the house by automatically only using the outdoor air going to that com sealed combustion chamber. And because this is a condensating type furnace, extracting additional heat from the flue gases, uh, the, it is removing latent heat, so it's converting the, the gas into a liquid I need to get rid of the liquid, so they will use uh, a drain uh, to do that. It will have a variable speed instead of a multiple speed. Variable speed blower motors will change the speed automatically based on the load also. And it will ramp down when the, it gets close to set point. And it will ramp up when it is far away from the set point or the room temperature. It will use PVC or plastic piping to vent out the flue gases. Instead of going into the chimney, it will vent out the flue gases into and through the outside wall.